All right, folks, coming at you from the rental car. If you are brand new to crypto or if you've been away for a minute and just now getting back into the swing of things, congratulations, you may be now getting back into the market at the exact perfect time. You haven't had to deal with the emotional roller coaster of this terrible crypto winter that the us vets, us experienced folks have had to deal with over the last two years where we've seen 80 to 95% dips in our initial positions because we didn't have the foresight to get out of the last cycle at the right time. We live and learn. Of course, we knew it was coming back around. It's just a waiting game, but it has shaken out a lot of weak, meek people. So are you too late? No, you're not too late. You're getting in at the perfect time. Again, congratulations to you on making such a savvy decision. Now, I will start this off by saying I'm not a financial advisor. <gasps> Shock horror. Another not financial advisor on YouTube claiming you should be listening to them. Well, if I was your financial advisor, I would be telling you how amazing of an opportunity and an investment cryptocurrency is. But five or 10 years from now, when all the good returns all the opportunity has been sucked up and you'll be too late to the market. So be brave and sack up. Now, if you are just getting into the market or again, coming back to the market and you only have a modest amount of money, you have one to $5,000, let's say. Well, you're probably gonna weigh your portfolio up a little differently to people who have been in the market for some time, set some positions and other things and are looking to balance their portfolio in very different ways. Common sense, right? Now, one thing, you don't have to guess a lot of this. We've done a lot of the due diligence. We've been looking through our lens, vetting projects right, left, and center to find the ones that we have seen long-term potential in, that we have seen the best bang for buck versus risk-reward ratio that we like the look of. So we cover a lot of this in the private group. We start this exact scenario. We have a couple different portfolios running. One for folks just starting out with a very modest amount of money in the market. Another for folks who have been in the market for a while, who've already seen some returns and are looking to balance their portfolios in very different ways. So feel free to, 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 to join that private group if you want to be a part of that journey. It's really just kicking off. Um, secondly, even if you don't want to join the private group, like, subscribe. We cover a lot of this stuff in our typical videos as well. So you can still learn a lot. Um, all right. So one to $5,000 portfolio. Well, I'm going to say this. As we've just mentioned, you gotta, you're going to have to be a little more accepting of risk and going into some projects that are going to be a little bit more risky, but are also going to pay back a ton more in terms of return, making a relatively modest amount. Again, you know, 5,000, 10,000 go a lot further than if you were to invest in some of the safer options. Those safer options being, of course, blue chips like Bitcoin, that I would expect at least a one, uh, a two to three X from where it is today. Ethereum, at least a three to five X from where it is today, almost guaranteed with the amount of money coming into the market. So not a bad option if you're playing with a decent chunk of money and you know a three to five X can make a difference to you. If you have one to $5,000, is that enough? Maybe it is. Maybe you just want to feel like you're taking a part in this market and you're not totally missing out on some of the opportunities at hand, which is totally fine. Feel free to do that. It's not going to change your life. You're not going to be driving around in a Lamborghini, of course, but you are you are going to get a better return than anywhere else right now, in my opinion. Now, for those looking to be a bit more aggressive, a little bit more ambitious, again, we've done a lot of the vetting here. You can see it projects that we are currently involved in that we're continuing to DCA in now, now that we're probably near or at bottom of the market and certainly set to see some monumental price movement, in my opinion, um, you know, over the next year, year and a half, two years. Number one, Casper. For me, K-A-S, Casper, a fantastic project. Um, I believe minimum 15 to 20 X minimum. I'm not taking any money out until we hit a 15 X. I know people are being conservative. They're throwing around a 10 X as a number that they're going to start taking funds and they don't want to put themselves on the line to say it's going to do any more. I'm in this to win and 15 to 20 X to me makes a lot of sense. And I think as soon as sentiment changes, we start to go into euphoria mode. We're going to see a lot of people following on that, that bandwagon and price targets are going to be a lot higher. Second, quant. QNT, another one. Now I'm going to say probably, probably 
a 10 to 15 X is where I'm going to start taking funds out right now. Meaning that we've had a little dip right now, meaning that right now is a perfect time to get involved in a project like Quant or like Casper that isn't rolling the dice in my opinion. We're not gambling. We're investing into solid projects that do have price movement ahead of them, trending in, in real nice areas, real nice directions. Um, but also isn't going to give you that thousand X return that some other projects probably have the possibility of providing. But for some safe options, providing more return than some of the marquees we're looking at, Quantum Casper for sure. HBAR, another one, another 15 to 20x potential. We've talked about this before, and we'll go into these on more videos as well. So don't just take this one, go back, look at some other videos that we've talked about these two, and we'll continue to talk about because there's a lot of really cool information that we all should be bearing in mind, not just to make sound investments, but to get a good lay of the land of what the, what the environment's doing, what the space is doing, the evolutions, the selling points, the things that are setting these projects aside and apart from the rest of the uh, the options that are out there. Now, Richard Hart tokens, Pulse, Pulse Chain, Hex. Now, I'm big, big fan of this ecosystem. I think it's going to be the story of the next bull cycle. So, in my opinion, 100x from where we are today, plus, I think it's, again, I think it's a real possibility. I think if we're looking for that project, that ecosystem that has the juice, that has the core, to bring back some huge returns just like that, just like we've seen Hex do in the past. Um, this, to me, is a no-brainer. I'm heavily involved in it. A large portion of my portfolio is dedicated to that ecosystem because I see the potential. Again, other videos you can look at. More videos going forward. But that's a good start. I mean, look, you don't want to spread yourselves too thin, but if you're looking to get that sweet spot, which we're always looking for, yeah, I'll roll the dice on some meme coins now and again. It's going to be a small position, and it's going to be purely for fun in the hopes that, hey, maybe we get the jackpot, right? Let it ride. But for the most part, for the majority, for 99.9% .9 of the positions we look at, we have to be adults about this. We have to make intelligent or as intelligent strategic decisions as we can. That means looking for projects like Casper, Quant, HBAR, Render, Pulse Chain, PulseX, Hex, looking at these types on top of maybe taking positions in Bitcoin and Ethereum just to shore up our portfolio in all the right ways. But we're looking for these in order to make an impact on our lives while not feeling like we're throwing our money down the drain, right? That's essentially what this is. So I hope this helped. Again, like, subscribe. Apologies for the amazing audio right now, the amazing visual visual you're looking at with my shaky hands right now in a rental car that I absolutely hate, by the way. However, I'm still getting settled. I'm still moving in, um, all that good stuff. So my studio isn't yet set up, but it doesn't matter. Content is content. Value is value. I hope this helped. If it did, leave a comment, drop a like. Looking forward to seeing you be a part of this community going forward. I love you all.